so many people rag on Dave Ramsey. And although maybe other people such as Robert Kiyosaki, other entrepreneurs have great advice, great programs or whatever and success. That's not to say that Dave Ramsey is incorrect by any means. Dave Ramsey has, I think, over, I think it's now six or seven hundred million dollars in real estate, all paid for cash. Has a huge business and is pulling in a lot of cash flow. And to Kirby, you you actually followed his blueprint, which led you to your first million. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, Dave is go ahead. No, no, so I mean Dave Ramsey, you know, it's I think for and this is okay, this is the other thing too, is you know, Dave has his audience, he has his blueprint for them, they follow that blueprint. But Dave has said in podcasts or in interviews, if you're trying to hit the deca millionaire or centi millionaire or billionaire mark he says the baby steps aren't for you and i he's said that in an interview so it's you know his program works for those that are trying to establish financial freedom get out of debt have everything paid off have investments for retirement and there's nothing wrong with people that want to have that lifestyle over you know maybe some entrepreneur that's trying to build you know, a real estate empire or real estate or not real estate, but a business or something of that sort. He's I'm, I'm sure Dave is aware that people have money leveraged in order to reach those high net worths. But it's not to say that his program doesn't work because it clearly does. There's people that follow that his program that are way better off than the average individual. And if you don't know how to manage consumer debt, you're going to fail as an entrepreneur. And the thing is, is like you said, Dave understands that um, Dave message, I believe, is for 80 percent of the world, 80 percent. And what I'm saying, 80 percent, because the other 20 percent is past that that level of past that level of needing the knowledge to live a comfortable life. But most people in the world are in debt. Most people in the world are living paycheck to paycheck. Most people in the world can't. Alex's mom is texting me right now, y'all. I'm in trouble. <laughs> uh, but but most most people most people don't have any money in retirement. Most, not all, but most. And Dave's message is for most people. Now, if you, you know, want, again, we talked about this in another video about how social media influencers want to tell you how this is and how that is and understanding the math of it and this and that. Dave Ramsey has the best line for it. If these people understood the math, understood how leverage worked, understood the percentages and ROI and all that, they wouldn't be in the situation that they're in now. So for all of the YouTubers out there that points out that Dave Ramsey is so wrong, he's right for the people that need it. He's right for majority of the people. Now, there is some nuance of people, myself, I'll point out one, that I went through the Dave Ramsey steps. Like you mentioned before, I made my first million off of Dave Ramsey's baby steps. But I also kept learning and getting the aptitude to understand leverage, understand ROI, understanding cap rate and things like that. And then I started to use leverage to grow it at a faster pace. But people don't need it at a faster pace. People just need a pace first. People, most people won't even get to a million dollar net worth. But Dave Ramsey can for sure. Like Grant Cardone say, do you want to get rich quick or do you want to get rich for sure? Following Dave Ramsey's steps will get you there for sure. Following Dave Ramsey's steps, if you make it to baby step six, you will have a paid off house. That's most people's pain point is their cost of living. The other pain point that people have is not having money in retirement. If you follow Dave Ramsey's baby steps of investing 15% of your income, 
you will have money in retirement to stack on top of your 401k, to stack on top of your pension if you happen to have it. So those things will get you there. Following Dave Ramsey's baby steps will set your kids up to have some money to go to college depending on how early you started the baby steps. So they don't have to go into the financial ruins and the financial uh, hardships of all these student loans. If you listen to Dave Ramsey on a regular, and for those people that got kids going into the college realm, stop sending your kids to four-year universities for the first two years because the only thing it is is liberal arts and they can get it at any regional accepted college and then they could transfer for just their junior and senior year. It will save them hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loan debt just right there. And that puts them in a better place. And then while they're working in these community colleges and things like that, they're working, stacking their money so they can pay their way through their junior and senior year, get some grants, get some scholarships and things like that. Stop falling into the emotional decisions. And Dave Ramsey talks about that. And that's 80 to 90% of people. They fall into the emotional decisions. That's why they're in the current situation that they're in. So I will never, ever, 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 ever talk bad about Dave Ramsey because I know how much he helped me. I know how bad I was and I was bad. So me talking bad about Dave Ramsey and I know it worked, that'd be a fool's errand. The help that he gave me I know what he did. I know what he's saying. I understand what he's saying. I know if you follow Dave Ramsey, he understands leverage because he went through that route before. He wasn't, he was successful at it, but then hard times fell on him. And then he rebuilt himself again. Most people can't even get themselves out of $10,000 worth of debt. He got himself out of millions of dollars in debt and then regrew his net worth to over $700 million. So, you people go on YouTube and listen to these people saying Dave Ramsey don't know what they're doing. Dave Ramsey don't know what they're doing. Dave Ramsey don't know what he's talking about. But this guy's tried and true and been sharing his story and information 20, 30 years. You listen to somebody who just built a YouTube channel in the last three to five years, and then you don't even know if they net worth is true. Do the math that they use, do they calculate out right for people that have financial literacy? Yeah, but most people don't have financial literacy. If they did, they wouldn't be sitting there watching those videos because they would already have money in their pocket. And most people don't. So that's my uh, diatribe on Dave Ramsey. And y'all haters, y'all need to stop. Yeah, most real estate investors that talk bad about Dave Ramsey, or a lot of them at least, they have a lower net worth than him. And I hear a lot saying, you know, oh, Dave's strategy of paying cash for properties is a horrible strategy and i think it just depends on what your strategy is as a real estate investor because if you're trying to expedite the process of growing your portfolio and accelerate that growth yeah using leverage if you know how to use it and understanding uh understanding finance in that aspect is important you have to like robert kiyosaki says understanding financial literacy then yeah that's what you that's important for you if your strategy is to speed up that growth and create a large portfolio in a short period of time or whatever but some investors they probably just want something to re one second alex one second you said keyword and don't lose your thought don't lose the thought that you have you said one keyword you said well a couple keywords there you said if you want to grow fast, you need financial literacy, right? Right. Everybody want to grow fast, but they don't want to get the literacy. Right. That's the problem. Everybody want to grow fast. That's why it resonates with people when all these social media people get online and say, Dave Ramsey don't know what they're talking about because they're talking about how to get there fast. But everybody miss those same people that, you know, drum up the subscribers and all the views to these channels that this Dave Ramsey, they don't hear the fact that you need to understand financial literacy and they don't have any literacy at all. That's the problem. And Dave Ramsey realized that's the problem. That's why he keep it in 
seven simple baby steps so you can just go on autopilot and just do these to get to where you need to go because he know people won't spend the time to learn financial literacy sorry but yeah, absolutely hey, I, exactly. and I mean what i'm saying too is like that's a, for that strategy that's okay for someone that understands financial literacy puts in the work and wants to leverage their money and grow a real estate portfolio quickly but it takes a lot more work Robert Kiyosaki talks about it. Grant Cardone talks about it. They say it, it takes a lot more work. You have to put in the work. But for there's nothing wrong with the strategy that Dave Ramsey teaches. If someone has a high enough income and they just want to pay cash for properties and use that as a retirement, there's nothing easier than owning a paid for property and just collecting your rent and paying property taxes and insurance when it comes up. Because we both know with the paid for property, property could go vacant you still don't have a monthly liability so it's a lot less stress and for someone that just wants to remove that stress from them in that strategy there's nothing wrong with that and that's what the Dave Ramsey followers or what Dave Ramsey teaches just paid cash for property so it just I think it just depends on your property it's or it depends on your strategy it's not to say that one strategy is better than the other it's just what does that individual want for their real estate portfolio. Uh, yeah, no, I agree 100. percent And like I, like you said, I, you know, I did the Dave Ramsey process, and it was autopilot. I just followed the bit, seven baby steps, six baby steps. Uh, I know it's seven, but I stop. I always stop at six. <laughs> Kirby's not uh, getting any money away. <laughs> yeah, but um, but the the seven baby steps, I followed it to the core. I just followed it word for word, and it was really autopilot. And then at the time I had no financial literacy. I just, so I just was on autopilot. And then as time grew, the money grew. And then I started implementing myself to get more financial literate, get more financial literacy, get more financially literate is what I was trying to say. And then that's when I started uh, pivoting, you know, using the Grant Cardone methods, using the Robert Kiyosaki method. I have properties that paid off. I don't have a care in the world about them. You know, ten, I mean, I still want the tenants to pay, but if a tenant move out, it's not like, oh, the world's coming to an end. Oh, I got to hurry up and get somebody in there. I mean, with the cash flow that's coming from my paid off properties and the cash flow from my other properties. Now, I, I still got two properties vacant right now. I'm not sitting here sweating about it because I know I have cash flow coming from that. But if I was just 100 percent leveraged to the hill, then I would have some work. Because now I'm like, oh, I got to rob Peter to pay Paul. I got to take from this property to pay this property. And I just keep going on with the methods. And that's and that's something that I will always give Dave Ramsey credit for. He saved my life. And I'm not saying it in a figurative sense. I'm saying it in a literal sense because I was in a very, very bad place. So, again, the haters got to stop hating because more people need Dave Ramsey, need Dave Ramsey information than the information that these uh, social media fools are putting out. Exactly. So let me say, guys. Leave us a comment down below if you got any comments on Dave Ramsey. Uh, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys on the next one.